union for this room and everything in it into the air inside your lungs well connected to the place it came from Joe Scorsone is the founder and lead singer of the rock band Flint Face. Joe grew up the son of a pastor who had a church in inner city Philadelphia. His parents provided him and his siblings a stable, loving home that gave Joe a sense of happiness and security. That was until shortly after his eighth birthday. I was sexually abused by a family acquaintance and um, it changed how I, how I saw God. It changed how I saw myself. It changed the way I saw other people. The abuse went on for two years before it ended. I was terrified to share it with anybody because um, you immediately own all the guilt and you own all the responsibility for it. For some reason, you, you've, you're the victim, but you feel like the criminal. Colorado Springs are tackling suicide head on. They came together for several events today. 11 News reporter Robbie Reynolds shows us their message. The guitarist Joe Scorsone is the leader of the band Flint Face. He travels around the country to teach children to speak up when they're feeling down. Today he performed at James Madison Charter Academy. We try to hide things. We try to show our best sides and we don't want to show our flaws because of judgment, fear. Um, all kinds of reasons, and um, we just want to encourage them to say, you know what, we're all equal, we all have problems, nobody's perfect, so go ahead and just say what you need to say. Elementary school is using a different approach to teach kids the importance of what they say and how it can impact their classmates. NBC 24's Brie Malaska explains how Raymer Elementary is doing that in East Toledo. Suicide is now the leading cause of death for kids ages 10 to 14 in the state of Ohio. A traveling musician is hoping to change that by traveling to schools across the country to spread a message of hope. This wasn't your typical anti-bullying school assembly. Cody, here's some sadness. But that's exactly why these students at Raymer Elementary say they liked it so much. Um, it was different because the other ones, they're like, they just come here to play games and he like encouraged some of us. Raymer's principal, Barbara Ferguson, brought in Joe Swarsone to spread his message of hope through music. The tongue can give life or can give death, and we know the words that come out of our mouth, we can really build people up or we can tear them down. And we find that at school, that the same thing with young kids, old kids, adults, the words that come out of our mouth has great power to either help or to hurt. According to a new report released by the Ohio Department of Health, suicide deaths in the state have increased by 56% among youth ages 10 to 24 over the last decade. It's an issue that Joe struggled with growing up. Uh, music has given me the opportunity to vent my feelings that I was maybe too embarrassed or ashamed to, to vent, and so I'm realizing it's the same for these kids here, too. Now he's traveling to over 300 schools across the country in eight months to help kids take back their voice. Because I feel there's some people here that just, like, tend to isolate themselves from situations and stuff because they feel they have no one to talk to about anything. With his interactive assemblies, he hopes to encourage kids to not be ashamed or embarrassed to speak up about their feelings and ask for help. You can't stop bullying and life is hard and you can't stop hard things. So our counter to that is to finding your voice and speaking up against it, speaking up and asking for help. And um, that cuts it right off because these teachers are here for these kids. Adults are here for these kids and other kids are there for them. So. Yeah, that's, that's the goal. Joe is continuing his Take Back Your Voice tour by heading to Kentucky next. If you want to follow along with his journey or get involved, I posted the link on our website, NBC24.com. Reporting in East Toledo, Brie Malaska, NBC24 News.
And Principal Ferguson tells us that the school will be using Joe's message from today in the classroom and morning announcements to remind the students of exactly what they learned.